All right, everyone, today we are making pork and sauerkraut. Yes, guys, we are making pork and sauerkraut today. You heard it from Tyler. Um, he's already got the pork cut up, and um, we're going to put it in the Instapot for 40 minutes, and then we're going to instant release it, and we are going to put some brown sugar, the sauerkraut. We're going to cook the pork roast by itself first and then um we'll add all the other stuff but we are going to add some seasonings and um um yeah they're trying to confuse me that was little tyler doing the um walk like an egyptian walk like an egyptian or how's that go how does it go <laughs> everybody's being silly oh my goodness so let's get into cooking this pork roast pork and sauerkraut guys All right, everyone. So what we're going to do, Tyler, will you get me a cup of water? Tyler already sliced the pork up, guys, but he sliced it up teeny. So we're just going to drop it in there. It's going to be good because it'll probably cook faster than 40 minutes because it's so thin. I told him to slice it up, but he didn't know how I wanted him to slice it up. But shout out to Tyler for slicing it up. I'm going to put some seasons in here, and I'm going to mix it all up. I'm going to put a cup of water. Hopefully, oh yeah, there's plenty of room. One cup. Baby. One cup. Everybody's helping. It's a miracle. Everybody's helping today. Honey, can you get me a spoon? Tyler's over here. Put it in there. Cooking the fatty stuff up for Louie. Yeah, you can put it in there, buddy. One cup of water, guys. Water. Now some seasons. What all seasons we using? Oh, I already put some seasons. On Did you here. Cavenders? Um, do you want chili or not chili? Um, onion salt, garlic salt. Which one's that? Powder. That's garlic powder. One of my bought a garlic salt too. You can grab it. It's down here. One. It's a brand new one. We don't have one. That's that's why I bought one. You want to open up the whole time? Um, we do have um, onion powder up there somewhere, Tyler. Oh, you got this burner on the wrong thing, side. So we got the cup of water in here. I got lots of help in the kitchen today. Big Tyler and little Tyler, guys. Shout out to both of them. My dancer's in the background. <laughs> we're going to put a little bit of garlic salt in here also, and then we're going to start it for 40 minutes. Break the salt. Oh, awesome. Himalayan salt. Awesome. Yeah, get more pepper. Okay. Give me a It's the cabinets. I wanted to cook my turkey in here, guys, but I don't think my turkey's going to fit in here, so I got a roaster pan that Angie bought me one year that I'm going to cook my turkey in for Thanksgiving. What's that, babe? The last little bit of pepper. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good, Tyler. That's a lot of it. I need a spoon. Uh, I need a spoon. Okay. The big white one. Thank you. All right, guys. So there it is. 40 minutes. And we'll see you back. We're going to put it on ceiling, guys. Make sure you put it on ceiling. Let me, oh, let me make sure there's things in there. Seal it up. And uh, make sure it's on ceiling right here. And then down here, here we go. Don't have glasses on again, but I'm getting used to the buttons. Pressure cook. We're going to do, what did I say? 40, 40 minutes. minutes. 40 minutes, and we're going to start. See you guys in about probably 50 minutes because it takes time to, to um, heat up. Okay, everyone. So, little Tyler peeled the potatoes. These potatoes were humongous. I'm going to show you. They're gigantic. He peeled some potatoes. They won't all fit. I'm going to make mashed potatoes, and I'm going to make them in the Instapot. Um, I'm just going to boil them in the Instapot because they'll get done in 10 minutes. Um, they wouldn't all fit, so I'm going to have to do it two times. We're still waiting on the, um, the pork to finish cooking. So and then I have to put the sauerkraut and the brown sugar and all the good stuff in there and um, I'll, I'll bring you back for all that. So I'll see you then All right, everyone this is done the 40 minutes is up I'm gonna release it check the temperature on the meat and then we're gonna add the sauerkraut 
and the brown sugar. But it's gonna, I'm gonna instant release it. It's not as bad now, huh? It's quiet now. Uh, Everybody come running when I push that, when I release that, guys. To see what the heck it was. Usually I let it release a little bit by itself. I do have my thermometer. thermometer. We're gonna check the um the meat. As soon as we can get it open. How do you wanna get the sauerkraut, babe? Yeah. Guys, we have the other one going with the potatoes. It's still trying to come to temperature. This one's done. Oh, it looks good. All right, so let's check the temperature of the meat. I think, what's pork supposed to be, 145? Will you look that up? I think pork is supposed to be 145. But it looks like it's completely done. Oh yeah, it's falling apart. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, don't worry about it. It's done. All right guys, so the pork's definitely done. We are going to add the sauerkraut and um, brown sugar and stuff, but first I'm gonna change my battery. All right, everyone, I'm just going to shred, but I'm gonna shred it like this. I'm not gonna pull it out with the bear claws today. I'm just gonna shred it like this. I think that, drain the juice out of the sauerkraut and just put the sauerkraut right in here. I think it's gonna be good. We need some brown sugar too. So this is just kinda gonna shred it up. I don't think it's going to take very long. We had to pull some out for little Tyler because he does not like sauerkraut. But look, I think that the juice in here, Tyler thought we might should take the juice out, but I don't think we should have to. He said a little bit of it. He did get the sauerkraut out. Oh, there is no juice. There is no water in the sauerkraut. Okay. So we're good. Brown sugar's up there, right? Um, I have brown sugar. Just, oh, I need so scissors. Oh, so Potatoes haven't even came to heat yet. Scissors, baby. Scissors. Oh, thank you. Here, honey, you want to dump this one in? Grab it. We leaving the juice? I don't think there's juice in there. Really? Oh, yeah, no. no. There's barely any juice in there. It, I would just dump it in. It's going to be good. No matter what. You think it's going to be good? Oh, I don't know if we're supposed to dump the juice out or not. Maybe we should have took some of the juice out, maybe. We could take it out and put it in something. So that way, if we need to put it back in, we can put it back in. Get me a little cup or something. I'll take some of the juice out. Or I'll just take the juice out of this pad, batch right here. Um, a strainer. Oh. We have some of that open. I know, I'm just trying to shake it up because there might be more. Where's that yellow strainer? <laughs> and now we need a bowl. A bowl that fits under here. All right, guys, so we're going to strain some of the juice out of one of the um, sauerkrauts. But I think we could just leave it. Think it's be good? Yeah, probably. Here. No cooking on the stove. Isn't that crazy? We didn't have to cook nothing on the stove. That's pretty cool. Here. See, there's barely, well, no, there's probably a good cup in there. So we're straining the juice out of this one, but we'll save it just yeah, in we'll case, just, yeah. just in case there's not enough juice. Here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, the one batch of potatoes only has, well, it's already clicked, so it's cooking yeah, now. Perfect time. Well, the other batch I didn't put in. All right, guys, I feel like I, sh I feel like we should have that juice. Put it in there. Um. Brown sugar should be over here. Oh, sorry. Right. Right. You love our brown sugar. I'll definitely love the brown sugar. The brown sugar is what makes your pork and sauerkraut if you like if you like sweet pork and sauerkraut. Yeah, we will need that bag open. Um, guys, I'm not going to measure, but um. This is probably at least a cup. So 
And I'm definitely going to put that juice back in because I really think we need the juice. I'm just going to pour it in there. It's good with you. How many of you guys like um, sweet pork and sauerkraut? Let me know. I'm putting more, more brown sugar in it too. Oh, you're getting enough on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it awesome. Oh. Did you make a mess? A little bit of a mess. A little bit. It's okay. Buddy. Yeah, it's all right, guys, I'm putting this sour, this juice in there, too. Mm -hmm. So I dirtied two things for nothing. It's okay. Okay. So now that we're going to put some more brown sugar in here. Probably, dang, probably another cup. We like it sweet, so hopefully, hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully I can go over that line. Where's that line at? Yeah, I might have went a little oh, bit No, over. I didn't. I didn't. That's good. Probably don't even have to stir it because it'll probably mix itself. It looks so good. And I'm going to cook it. Hmm. Let me think of what I'm going to cook it. Another 15 minutes, maybe? I think 15 minutes will be good. Yeah, I'm going to say another 15 minutes. Oh, I don't think you should open me a second one. Okay. No, you already got it now. We'll need it for the um, sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay. Just yeah you open. shouldn't open that one. It'll fit. Oh, I can't see what you're doing here. No. Yeah, it'll fit. Look. All right, well, go ahead. It, it might not, but we can put it in a Ziploc bag. It doesn't. How is filling up my container for me? Guys. Got to remember that lid's got a bit on there. I know. Is there any left in there? A little bit. Oh. Mine. We dumped a little bit in here. I was gonna put a bit oh, go ahead. All right, guys, this should fit. Right, yep. All right, here, baby, put this away. Put more in it. All right, so we've got another little third of a cup or something. All right, guys, I'm putting this back in for 15 minutes. I don't think I'm going to do it any more than that. Probably don't even have to do 15 minutes, but we're going to do 15 minutes. If it'll if it'll seal up, because I'm right close to that line, trying to find the line. Where is it? Right there. Oh, wow, it's right. Pretty close to it. Let's see if it'll seal. All right, come on. Not try it. Seal up for me. We're gonna do 15 minutes. Mm. 15 minutes and start. All right, guys. So I don't like soccer, it'll probably take a couple yeah, minutes, but this was already hot. I will see you in just a few minutes when the potatoes get done. I have to do both batches of potatoes real quick, though. Oh, almost knocked them over. All right, everyone, we are going to check the potatoes. I just instantly released it. Um, I, I checked them earlier, and I had the, the um, 10 minutes was not long enough. So I did nine more minutes. We're going to see how they turn out. Maybe I needed to dice them up smaller so that they'd be ready for mashed potatoes. Um, but the pork and sauerkraut, we got that all mixed up, and it still has nine minutes left. So, so we're good. We have plenty of time. But we're gonna check these potatoes and see if they're um, see if they're um, ready to be mashed potatoes. Hopefully they are. Right, baby? Hopefully. All right, everyone. Let's see if they're ready now. I hope they are. So you might have needed if you had as many potatoes as we had. It'd be okay. Oh, they're a little um. I think they're going to be okay. Hopefully some of them are more cooked than the others. These were a different type of potato and they were so big. I'm not sure, babe. I think they're going to be fine. But 
We might have lumpy potatoes, but that's okay. Everybody likes lumpy potatoes, right? You like lumps in your potatoes? I like lumps in my potatoes. Who likes lumps in their potatoes? I don't know. Look at it. It looks pretty good. Where's that masher thing? Will you um, rinse it off real quick? I still have another batch to throw in here, but this is a lot of potatoes. This is a whole lot of potatoes. Oh my. We might not have needed all the potatoes. They're good, aren't they? Put the butter in. Well, we don't even need the blender, do we? Your back, your back's what's showing. You gotta use your other hand. Gotta use your left hand, babe. You're left-handed. Probably need to put more butter. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stick here. Awesome. Plus, we gotta get some milk. Yeah. What do you want me to do with the mother potatoes? Just cook them for later. Well, I don't know, whatever you want. Well, we already peeled them, so we might as well cook them for later, I guess. Unless you want me to leave them whole and make um, baked potatoes. Left hand, baby, left hand. Look at the camera. Mash them potatoes, baby, mash them, mash them, baby. <laughs> oh, I broke the glass on the stove. Oh, I know, I was worried you might do that. All right, guys, I am going to put the other potatoes in. Um, Tyler's going to continue to mash. He's going to, you're going to put some seasons. Tell him what you're putting in. Just salt. Just salt, that's it? Yeah. No. Salt, no. some milk, some butter. Put some, see, put some garlic powder and stuff in there. Just a little bit. Give it a little flavor. That's the, the sauerkraut's going to give it all of its flavor. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut these potatoes up and put these in. See the size of these potatoes? What, Secret ingredient. Oh, you're not putting chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. No. You're not putting chocolate milk in our in our mashed potatoes. All right, everyone. I gotta let the pressure out of the pork and sauerkraut, and it should be done. Mashed potatoes are done, and we are gonna eat. All right, guys. We are gonna check it out here. The mashed potatoes were really good. Tyler um, gave Probably me a little cold, lick no. off the. Um, they're not cold. That thing's hot. Stick your tongue on there. Alright. Not in the pan. Oh. The pan itself. The thing is hot as heck. Alright, almost done guys. Almost done. I'm gonna slide closer. You can have a couple of them rolls. You don't have to heat them up, do you? No, I'm probably going to eat that. Take the out. <laughs> You're crazy. Alright, guys. Here we go. Test time, honey. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's burnt. It's burnt? What do you mean it's, it's burnt? Kind of, it's, it get a spoon. Which one? What kind of yeah, Whatever. Any of it with the without holes. Mm. How's it look? That brown sugar really gave it a color. It looks good. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. I will see you at the dinner table. All right, everyone. Time for the taste test. Check this out. It looks so good. Let me know if you guys um, put lots of brown sugar in yours. If you eat it with mashed potatoes, um, the camera really looks crooked. You guys look so crooked. All right. Maybe it wasn't crooked, but it looked crooked. There's a Haley out the window. She's pacing. She's in the camera. All right. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so let's check out this um, pork and sauerkraut. See how good it is. Oh my gosh, Tyler. We have to make this more often. There's so, Tyler's behind the camera, guys. 
and he's already on his second plate. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Haley got nauseated from the smell when I hit when I hit the release on the Instapot. Now she likes it, but she um she's hasn't been feeling good for a couple of days, so she got nauseated. She went running outside. You just seen her out there. But this is good. I'm gonna try it with some mashed potatoes. How was the potatoes, babe? Delicious. Mm. It is delicious, guys. I can't wait to eat more later. <laughs> My are Tyler's idea today. We were having chicken today. Well, I've been wanting that for. Yeah, you have. We well, went to the market. He went to the market with me. And um, he's like, we should have pork and sauerkraut. I'm like, but I got the chicken thawing out. But the chicken's still hard as a rock, so it's not thawed out. Anyways, this was a great idea. It's delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.